Hey, this is the X-Man. I'm at Sports Life in St. Petersburg. I just finished doing a variety of different how-to exercises, a little bit of buys, a little bit of legs, back. Um, very interesting stuff, a little different. I do things a lot differently. Uh, so tune in to the links and uh, get the information you're looking for and uh, join Sports Life. Thank you. Um, first, I'm going to start with some chess. Uh, in order to isolate your pectorials properly, you need to learn how to um, minimize your front deltoid and your tricep activation while you're doing the movement. So instead of me trying to show you perfect form or teach you perfect form uh, verbally, I'm going to show you. But this technique that I'm using, it, <clears throat> it allows you to just focus on the pec muscles. And I'm using constant tension and uh, unilateral movement. So I'm going to do 15 reps total. So pay attention to the way that I'm doing it. And, uh, and we'll talk about it when I'm finished. <clears throat> So that's the way that I do my, one of the ways that I do my uh, bench press. What I'm doing is <clears throat> while the one hand is using constant tension, focusing all the tension on the pec and the stabilizers, the other hand is actually doing the exercise in a normal way. And it, it forces me to just use my pectoral muscles. So I get a better result without having to lift 400 pounds. Uh, that was a uh, flat bench unilateral presses. And uh, normally I do three to five sets of those. Um, depending on how much weight you can use, I always start with a lighter weight to make sure the form is perfect. And then after that, you can bump it up to whatever feels comfortable. So I did five reps on each side, then four reps, then three reps, then two reps, then one rep. Then I finished out with five reps. So that's actually 20 total reps per side. Next, we're gonna do a hammer strength incline. I'm gonna use the same philosophy that I use with the flat bench. We're gonna do alternate um, presses with a uh, constant tension on one arm while the other, exercise, while the other arm is doing the exercise. And uh, we're gonna do 15 reps again, and then I'll do how many ever reps at the end just for like a burnout. So here we go. If you notice, um, as I get tired, normally when you're doing work, when you're doing exercises, as you get tired, your form gets worse. But when you do it this way, it actually gets better. It has to, or you can't finish the exercise. So that's another reason why I like to do it. <clears throat> better mind muscle connection and better feel in the pecs. That was hammer strength incline presses. Um, I did um, three or four sets. And each time I do a set, I switch starting hands. So the first time I started with my right hand, 
Then the next time I start with my left hand. So I like to switch it up just one more way to make it different. Uh, muscle confusion, uh, weeder principle, I guess you could call it. And um, so like I say, three to five sets. Um, this is my second exercise. Go on to the next one. Um, I'm about to perform dumbbell presses in an alternate fashion. Uh, kind of the same way I just did the hammer strength, but uh, it's with dumbbells and it's on an incline bench, which gives me some more variety in a different angle. And uh, it's a little more challenging because you have to balance the dumbbells a lot harder than the hammer strength. <clears throat> Um, what I really like about doing it this way is each side of your body has to pull its own weight. That allows you to build better symmetry and equalize your strength from the left side to the right side. Everybody's either stronger on one side or the other naturally. Um, me personally, <clears throat> I'm stronger on the left and I have a pec tear on the right. So it's actually double hard for me on the right side because that was already my natural weak side. And then you add the injury to it. So that makes me have to focus even that much more to get the same symmetrical results from side to side. I do three to five sets of this and, uh, and then that'll be 15 sets for chest, which is really enough, but we're gonna do one more exercise. Um, either a crossover or a pullover or a fly. Now I'm gonna perform uh, cable crossovers and I'm gonna use the one and one quarter rep style. Uh, I don't know how many reps I'm gonna get, but really what I'm focusing on is perfect form on the quarter rep and on the full rep. As you can see, I don't, I don't remember, I don't really know how many reps that was, but I kept all my focus on the pecs. Stretch position, double flex position. It just really gets the blood flowing in your chest and um, more time and attention is what we're focusing on with proper form. And that's pec, pec deck, pec flies. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do uh, dumbbell pullovers. Uh, we're gonna use the one and one quarter rep uh, scheme and uh, in the crossovers I did one and one quarter reps with the quarter rep being in the bottom position uh, in the flex position <clears throat> so with the pullovers I'm going to switch it around and the corner rep, quarter rep is going to be in the stretch position so
Again, I really didn't count reps. Focus on the squeeze and the stretch, and then getting that squeeze in the stretch position. And uh, it's a really good finisher for the pecs. As you get older, the skin gets loose under here. This is a great exercise to keep everything tight and firm in your lower pecs. <clears throat> 